Hello and kia ora, as we say here in New Zealand. My name is Jamie Shepard, and I'm a research fellow in the Dodd Wall Center for Photonic and Quantum Technologies in, at the University of Auckland in the Department of Physics. In this presentation, I'll discuss our work developing a non-contact all optical ultrasound imaging system for biomedical imaging, as well as an application of our system to human tissue, and in particular, a human carotid artery ex vivo. So in the simplest definition, all optical ultrasound, or as we often refer to it as laser ultrasound, is the creation of ultrasonic images using light-based sources and receivers. So we get images that are equivalent to those acquired with clinical ultrasound machines, but we use laser-based sources to generate the ultrasonic waves and laser-based detectors to detect the ultrasonic waves. And this allows us to have the added flexibility of non-contact imaging. Our work in this field has included the development of optical detectors for ultrasonic waves, including those based on optical beam deflection and laser Doppler vibrometry, as well as optimi optimization of the source wavelength that's used to generate ultrasonic waves, particularly when we want to image deep in tissue. And we've created what we call a non-confocal imaging system, where we have independent control over the source and the receiver position. And we found um, spatial compounding, and which utilizes this non-confocal system, can improve the image quality for all optical ultrasound. And finally, the focus of this talk will be primarily on the application of this system to human biological tissues. So as I mentioned, non-confocal imaging requires independent control of the source and the receiver position. In contrast, a confocal imaging system has the source and the receiver position confocally aligned, and that uh, confocally aligned beam is often scanned together across the sample surface, or the sample itself can be moved while the source and the receiver beams are stationary. But by independently controlling the source and the receiver position, we can acquire data that is analogous to synthetic aperture ultrasound data, where we can emit a single element or away from a single source position and record the data along an array of detectors. If we repeat that for many different sources, we end up with an array of low resolution images that have low signal to noise as well as this low resolution. But by spatially compounding the images, we can create a very high resolution image. So we have applied this to a human carotid artery that was extracted post-mortem and fixed in formaldehyde. We then placed the carotid artery into a, a tissue phantom and applied our system first with a confocal configuration and second using our non-confocal acquisition scheme. So with the confocal um, imaging scheme, we do get a lot of detail in the image. We can see that on the left-hand side of the image, um, we have a thinner artery wall, and towards the right, the artery wall gets thicker, indicating there's most likely some sort of plaque deposit in that artery wall. We also see this bright spot that indicates um, that there's something very stiff in the tissue, um, and that turns out to be calcification, which is also indicated by this um, gap in the data below the calcification, known as acoustic shadowing. So essentially, a majority of the ultrasonic signal is reflected by that calcification so that we, um, we have a shadow beneath the calcification. Um, but we see the top and bottom walls of the artery, and we can see you know, where the blood would be flowing through here at a uh, depth of 1 to 1.5 centimeters. And overall, the signal to noise um, could use improvement, and the details of the artery wall are lacking. However, when we apply our non-confocal imaging scheme, we get significant enhancements in the image quality. Um, we still have the overall same um, trend in the artery wall. We see that on the left-hand side, we have a fairly narrow artery wall, and on the right-hand side, it gets thicker. Um, but now the resolution of our calcification deposit is improved. And we also see many more details within the artery wall, so we can even differentiate between the intima and media interfaces of the artery wall. So overall, by applying a non-confocal imaging scheme and spatially compounding the images, 
we have enhanced signal to noise as well as enhanced resolution. We also validated this, these imaging results with CT, which is um, a state of the art technique used for imaging calcification clinically. And indeed we see the top and bottom walls of the artery, of course, with less detail with CT than you can obtain with ultrasound. And we also see this bright blooming artifact, um, that white uh, signal in the CT image that indicates calcification. And finally, we took the problematic artery wall to um, the lab and performed histology. And again, we indeed see that the, the artery wall is healthy on the left-hand side where it was thinner in our ultrasound image and gets thicker on the right-hand side. Um, and you see this nice blue deposit, which if we zoom in on that is very clearly a calcification deposit. So to conclude, um, throughout our time in all optical ultrasound, we've worked on uh, both sides of the hardware, both detection and uh, our source, our laser ultrasonic source. We've created a non-confocal imaging system with independent source receiver control. We've improved the image quality with spatial compounding and applied this system to uh, human carotid artery tissue. So thank you for your attention and I look forward to the discussion at the symposium.